Hey everybody, it's been a while since my last update, so I figured I'd shoot a video. Uh, had uh, had an issue about six weeks ago with um, either Ick, Marine Velvet, or whatever it is. Um, both of my tangs, my Atlantic Blue and Coal Tang, and uh, also my Puffer Fish, and uh, uh, my Coral Beauty showed signs of spots on them, and. Uh, my coal tang and my Atlantic blue tang ended up dying um, pretty quickly after the spots were noticed on them and so not really sure exactly what it was um, I'll shoot a, I'll put up a picture here so you can see what my Atlantic blue tang looked like he had white spots and then also black spots um, around his body uh, so it, it came on pretty quick and, and they passed away pretty quick um, so kind of in reaction to that what I ended up doing is I didn't add any livestock to the tank um, up until today actually uh, and then also what I did is I added a overpowered UV sterilizer um, it's a 57 watt uh, aqua ultraviolet UV sterilizer and um, I had that I've had this in line for about six weeks as well and Good thing about that is, um, I mean, not only will it help to uh, slow down the uh, reproduction of pests, but um, I hardly have to clean the glass anymore. It's it really slowed down the production of algae on the glass. So um, scraping the glass is is not quite the you know every other day, every third day task that it used to be. It's pretty much just once a week now and there's very little on the glass even after a week so um, that's kind of nice but um, it seems to be working pretty well for that and I hope it's working pretty well from the for the parasites and um, things of that nature uh, the the tangs were the only two fish that died which thankfully that's 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 all that it was uh, uh, limited to um, the rest of the fish I've I still have in here. Um, I did have one casualty. One uh, one of my wrasses committed suicide. I found a crispy little fish on my carpet uh, a couple of days ago, so it was pretty sad to see that. But um, I guess that happens with a with a rimless open tank. Um, so today I was at my LFS and uh, had them do some water testing for me just to kind of validate results for me that I that I have and. Um, I knew that the tank was in good condition. I just wanted to hear what uh, results they came up with, and everything's good. I ended up picking up a uh, small fox face and uh, another small Atlantic blue tang. Um, really liked them, so I figured out I figured I'd pick another one out and uh, and add it. And then I also added this uh, Lamarck's angelfish, and uh, they uh, they seem to be doing pretty well. I did freshwater dip them for about five minutes um, before putting them in the tank, and um, just as a precaution. And they uh, they all made it through that. I mean, as you can see, they've been in this tank for about uh, two hours now, and and you can see that they're swimming around, so they made it through that fine. Um, hate to put the stress on the fish like that, but you know, you have to kind of take precautions. And I wasn't. Uh, I'm not going to you know set up a quarantine tank. For these fish, so um, I figured that was uh, that was the best route for me to tank take, uh, considering that. So, anyway, um, new fish in the tank, um, and hopefully they'll do well. Uh, I don't know if you guys have probably seen previous videos of mine. The frog spawn have been growing pretty uh, pretty well. They've uh, they've done pretty well. Um, my uh, uh, flower anemones have been doing pretty well as, as well um, that one in the center has just gotten absolutely huge a um, couple of mushrooms are are growing pretty well here and uh, you can see little spots of, of algae on the uh, rock surfaces and you know that's pretty much uh, because my my tangs who used to take care of that um, they haven't been in the tank for six weeks so um, as soon as this fox face and Atlantic blue were added, they've been picking at the rocks um, pretty steadily. So I'm sure that they'll have this cleared out in no time. Um, 
added some hermit crabs as well today uh, to help clean up, boost up the cleanup crew a little bit. Um, other than that, uh, things are going pretty well. It seems like the tanks stabilized pretty well. Um, the algae growth on the substrate has settled down quite a bit. Uh, it was never really horrible, but um, you know, looked looked brown for a bit. It's uh, it's whitening up quite a bit, so. Uh, so that's worked out pretty well. Um, seems like it's settling in. It's uh, it's aging well. Um, you know, it's still in my mind still considered a new tank, so it has a little bit to go. But um, I like the results so far. Uh, as far as equipment's concerned, it hasn't really been anything uh, added. Uh, you know, I did add this uh, auto feeder for pellets. Uh, it's just an Eheim battery operated um, auto. Uh, feeder and it's done a great job. It it drops the food right into that uh, two little fish's um, uh, feeding ring there, so uh, that works out pretty well. Um, did clean my gyre. My gyre had a ton of coralline algae growing on it. Uh, found a simple way to clean that. Just put it in one of those Home Depot buckets uh, vertically and let it run like it runs in the tank uh, in a vinegar and water solution, and it did a did a really great job cleaning it. Uh, but as you can see, the back of the tank is pretty much speckled with, uh, with coralline algae now. Um, and, you know, and I don't mind that. It's, it's grown a little bit on the side glass um, from time to time, but I scrape that. I don't want it on the side glass, but I don't mind it on the back, the back glass and the overflow. So, um, so yeah, uh, hopeful that the new fish will stay healthy and uh, um, try to keep some updates um, coming on a more regular basis. Talk to you soon.